Hello folks and welcome to another Parkside product review video. This time I have something a little bit bigger. It's this Parkside flux cord wire welder PFDS 120A2 is its product number. I got it from Lido. It costs only 100 euros. Quite a bargain. Now let's take a look what was inside the box. We have this chipping hammer combined with wire brush. There is this really and I mean really cheap protection mask. You have to assemble it yourself. Here is the protection glass, as you can see the protection window is really small. If you are planning to use this tool more frequent, I would suggest you to buy better mask. Now let's take a look at the wire welder itself. It's inside this very rigid metal casing there is a strap for carrying the device weights nearly 14 kilograms which is uh, a little bit uh, more than i expected on top of it is a detailed description of the device IP21S is the protection class. Here we can see the maximum input current is 17.5 amps. The efficient value of the maximum current is 5.9 amps. The no load voltage is 31 volts. Here is this table showing information about the duty cycle. 10% duty cycle, 16 and 100%. If you're using the maximum welding value of 120 amps, you have to take in account the 10% duty cycle, otherwise you will be quite frequently overwelding the device front panel we have the on off switch with the lamp indicator in it we have the thermal protection lamp the thermal protection is automatic if we overvolt the unit we have to wait around 10 to 15 minutes for it to cool down so we can use it again we have these two potentiometers the first one is for regulating the wire feeding speed and the second one is for regulating the welding voltage we have table with information how to use the two regulators As you can see, they're moving quite smooth, so I presume they're not cheap Chinese potentiometers. I really like the quality of the cables. This is the earthing cable and its cross section is 10 square millimeters this is the main cable and it consists of three wires each with cross section of 1.5 square millimeters earthing clamp looks uh, really cheap and uh, the force it's spring is applying i think it's I think it will not be strong enough, 
but uh, we'll see later now let's take a look at the torch itself the torch button the torch nozzle we have four nozzles in in the set and one is already installed let's open the storage compartment this is done quite easy simply by pushing this rod along the elongated hole like this and pulling up the cover we have a holder for the remaining three nozzles there are four nozzles in the set 0 0.6 0 0.8 0 0.9 and one millimeter we have this uh, 0 0.9 millimeter flux cord wire spool this is the wire spool holder it's quite easy to unlock the spool weights 0 0.45 kilograms and let's lock it in place this is the feeding mechanism again quite easy to load the wire in it simply pressing this lever like this and releasing it now releasing this lever like this and this is the cover cup of the feed row And this is the feed row itself. 0 0.8, 0 0.9, 1 millimeter. This channel and 0 0.6 for this channel, depending on what. Uh, flux cord wire you're going to use you have to place it either this way or the other let's place the protective cap on it and let's close this lever there is a detailed manual here This is the backside of the welder where we have this really big cooling fan and when we can take a look of some of the internal components of the device. So this is my short visual review of the Parkside flux cord while welder i will be doing another video showing you guys how the machine is working how it's welding but this uh, will happen another day thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video